everyone and welcome. It's Shanna. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel, you know how much I love this Mente paper. And I have these 12 by 12s and they have some pretty big designs on them that I wasn't sure how I was going to use them. So tonight I'm going to be using them to um, cover this plaque. It's eight and a half by eight and a half. I'll measure it on here in a minute. But this is a plaque that goes in a wrought iron piece that goes on my front porch. And I have all different seasons and I've had them for a long, long time and they're starting to get faded and just look a little rough. And so I thought I would cover this Merry Christmas one with a spring pattern and I'm going to use this Mente paper and I'm just looking at it trying to decide what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one with the arbor and the bench. It um, really reflects kind of my porch area because I have a lot of flowers. Um, I have a bench and I also have an arbor. So I'm measuring it to make sure exactly what I need to cut it by and it's eight and a half by eight and a half. And I'm going to try and cut this Mente paper down which I just adore and I'm going to use it to cover up this older, um, faded out um, eight and a half by eight and a half panel that goes in my wrought iron decorative piece. So right now I'm just measuring it, trying to figure out how I can get the most of this design in on the um, piece. And I'll just... I figured out kind of how I want to do it. I'm just going to bring my paper trimmer in and I'm going to trim off a little bit at a time and just try and get it to where I'm showing what I want to show on that eight and a half by eight and a half inch square. And I'm just kind of looking and trying to figure out what I want to do. Because on this, I really want to show a lot of the florals that are on this right side. And I just hate cutting off the um, mailbox, but I do have to cut a little bit of it off. So I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do, how much I'm going to cut off. And I know what, you know, I know this is 12 by 12 and eight and a half by eight and a half, but I just, I'm trying to get the pieces of the design that I want in there so that I can um, keep them. So that's why I'm trying to decide how much I want to take off of each side. Now we had a storm tonight, and I actually had a hair appointment to get my hair to get my hair done, and the storm hit, and it was just pouring down rain when it was time to leave, and I got soaking wet, and so when I got home, it was early. I decided to take off my clothes and just put my jammies on because my clothes were all soaking wet. So I've got my robe on here in the video, and you can see that. Now I was just double checking myself as far as size wise and I'm going to cut the top off and I'm trying to keep you know some of these beautiful flowers in there and I'm going to go ahead and cut off the bottom so that I get it eight and a half and that'll take care of it and I'm going to save all of these scraps you better believe I'm going to try and use them or you know fussy cut out some of the images or whatever to make use of this and then I'm just going to lay this down on my little um, frame here and I'm going to get it um, laid down. Now what I will do wrong is I don't think I have enough Mod Podge to cover the back of this. So I bring in my Barely Art glue and I just barely put some glue on there. And I really needed to saturate the whole back panel of it. Um, I later find out that I do have a big bottle of Mod Podge that I can use. I, ha I had found a small one originally and so that's why I decided to use this glue. And I think if I would have used the Mod Podge on the back, I would have gotten a better result. But um, ultimately, I wind up with something I can use. Now, when I'm laying this down, it looks like it's laying down perfectly. It's not, um, it's completely flat. It looks like it's really laid down there well. And then I go and search for my Mod Podge. And I bring it in, and I'm going to cover the top of it. Man, I wish I'd known I had this big bottle, and I would have covered the bottom. Because I get a little bit of wrinkling in it, but... I press on and um, ultimately I come up with something that I can use. So I open this up and I don't think I've used this before because the, um, like that paper insert, I it was on there glued down, I couldn't get it off and it made a mess out of my hands. So now I'm just checking to make sure that green paint that was on that 
brush does not come off with Mod Podge, and it looks like it's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it, and we'll just get some Mod Podge laid down on this. And I'm just gonna coat, 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 cover, 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 and try and get it to where um, it's covered really well. Now this is gonna be outside. This is on my front porch, but it is covered by an overhang but I still wanna make sure that it is protected from the elements. Now this will be a spring and summer um, plaque that I'll use in my wrought iron frame. So, you know, it shouldn't get any, you know, cold, you know, snowy type elements because, you know, we do get all the four seasons here in Indiana, but this should be okay because it'll be under my overhang and it shouldn't get too much rain or anything like that. Now it will get some humidity and some moisture, but it really shouldn't get rained on, snowed on, or anything like that. But I do want to completely cover it and make sure it's um, very well adhered to this plaque. So I'm just gonna cover, 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 cover. And we'll get it all covered, and I just, I'm gonna have to let it dry for a good period of time. And I come back to it, and I see I've got a little bit of bubbling on it. So I'm like, ugh, what am I going to do with this? So I'm looking at it, and I decide that I'm going to bring in some more Mod Podge and try and cover it again. And I'm going to bring in my brayer and just run that over there and see if I can get it to lay down flat. And I just roll and roll and roll over it and just try to get it as flat as I can and add some more glue, and just try to get those bubbles out of there. And I'll just work this over really well. And I've added a bunch of this Mod Podge to it, and I'm kind of sopping it up with my little napkin there, and just rolling it over there, trying to push all the air bubbles out as much as I can, and then I'm gonna have to let it dry again. So I'm just cleaning up the area, and trying to get all that Mod Podge up, and I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna clean up my tools. I got I dropped that paper on there, so I was gonna rub over it again. And I think I decide to go in the opposite direction, just kind of clean the edges up, and then I'm just gonna let it sit and let it dry for a good amount of time. And then I saw a little spot there. I'm gonna to try to roll over it. I'm gonna go in the opposite direction now and just try to get it all laid down real nice and neat. And then I'm gonna let it sit for a period of time. So I let it sit, and I think it's good and dry, and I can rub my hand over it, there's no tackiness. It isn't, uh, it is a little bit bubbled, but I think it can work just fine for what we need. It's, um, I think the Mod Podge will protect it. So I'm gonna bring in my rod iron piece, and you can see I've got little, um, a little, um, plaque in there already that says something about um, so winter turns into spring and I'm taking that out I had made that these plaques are old and so they fade and I've worked on a couple of them to make them updated and then I'm going to do this one and I think this one will look absolutely beautiful on my front porch I hope you like it thanks for watching take care